So um, I believe last year we talked about the Recycle Reads program. This year I want to talk a little bit about what Austin Public Library is doing uh, in regards to programming uh, the Sustainable li Living series that we developed called Talk Green to Me. So uh, this handsome gentleman up here is uh, Thor Harris, who is an Austin art artist and um, musician whose steadfast dedication to sustainability community development can't be overstated. Uh, as an internationally acclaimed musician, he, he currently finds time to contribute, inspire, and propel the DIY art and music community forward. Uh, Thor's talents as a woodworker and carpenter uh, and craftsman and everything from handmade instruments to his own home, which he crafted by hand using repurposed materials. And so uh, we included him with our uh, geek campaign that we've been running recently, uh, and he geeks everything green. Um, so one of the things that we realized at Austin Public Library, we were talking a little bit about at the Sustainability Roundtable, is that making sure that people understand that just by using the library, you're being sustainable. Uh, libraries are the green alternative. You grab the resources uh, that you can use over and over again uh, about ways to help the environment and make green choices, and it's all for free with little impact on the environment. So just encouraging people to use the library itself is, is a sustainable practice. So uh, one of the things that we are interested in doing um, is increasing our R's. I think at the uh, meeting we had the other day, we talked about seven. Um, I'm going to talk about five real quickly. Uh, the first one is reuse. And one of the things that we've decided in our reuse category is that it, it's not just going to be, oh, let's take these um, you know, old paper plates and turn them into Valentine's cards that are then going to be tossed away. So for us, reuse is really about how many multiple times that reuse uh, item can, can be used. And, and my little purse over there that some of you have seen is, is an example of that. Uh, repurposing is another big part for us, um, taking the materials that we can't use and, and re, uh, repurposing and restoring. Uh, one of the things that we are doing now with the Recycle Reads facility, as well as being a bookstore and a repurpose and recycling center, is we're an incubator for library programs so that uh, if the branches feel a little resistant about trying something out, we can try it at the store first, and if it's something that works and is popular, uh, then we can bring it out into our branches. And so the next thing we're moving into is the fix-it clinics. Uh, we already had our first fix-it clinic, and now uh, we're planning them through the rest of the year. Uh, and we're also looking into a tool lending library. Um, and then um, ultimately, we're a zero landfill operation, as many of you know. Um, and so recycling is a part of what we have to do, but we work with recyclers who, for example, can turn the books that have no value in the other areas uh, into carbon fibers or slurry for the building industry. But mostly what we want to do is we want to engage the public through programming. And in order to do that, we have formed partnerships uh, with several organizations, both city departments, nonprofit organizations, and the like. Uh, to do programming throughout our library system. It includes um, the Austin Eco Network, the uh, Austin State of the, um, of the Environment, uh, Creekside Growing, uh, uh, the Office of Sustainability, uh, Austin, we, we don't call it solid waste anymore, it's Austin Resource Recovery. So through programming, we're able to educate the public. Thank you.